Yeah, I can hear her. <coughs> Stuck again. I can almost guarantee <coughs> it's Ebony. Everybody else is looking at me. Expectant. <coughs> no food, you had your breakfast. Yeah, I can hear her screaming. Ah! No. Inca, don't. This is still a sensation that the sheep aren't used to. So. Under the great oak, a watery, milky sunlight as the rain's been falling all morning. Ebony was there for breakfast, but decided she wanted to go out and get stuck. Yep, all the way over in the furthest corner of the field. Sun hardly comes over those pines anymore in the winter. It stays very low on the horizon. The longest day, sorry, the longest night is coming very soon on the 21st of December. And I will go as I go every year to Knock Row. to watch the sun set at the stones and hope there's no huge crowds. So here's the bold yo. Stuck as usual. And guess who? It's Ebony. She had breakfast this morning. You just want to eat those things, that ivy, don't you? Oh gosh, <laughs> I pulled too hard. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Come on. Oh dear. You're not skinny. I think I pulled you a bit too hard on your one leg. I'll have to do two-legged jobs. But you're already tearing. Your ear tags are becoming loose in your ear because you're going in and out of fences so often. This one's not bad. But there's no blood there. It's just you can see in the past that she's just coming in and out of the fences so often has loosened this tag. You are bold. These are our woods as well. The sheep haven't gotten in there yet to clear the ivy. One day they will to increase the flora biodiversity on the floor, which will increase the wildlife. That's all I'm for, increasing biodiversity. Isn't that right, Ink? Yeah, clever girl. As I'm walking Ebony back up to the other yos, I noticed the lichen on this ash tree. It's very interesting. It's really beautiful how the varieties of lichens do different patterns on the tree. This is going in between all the crevices. The tree is very healthy. Nothing wrong with it. But there's these white lichens. We're almost making a stripy pattern on the tree. Lichens are usually a good sign of healthy air. You can see these patterns. These would be different lichens, that one and that one and that one. I don't know their names. Just that they're different colors means they're different kinds. Unless they're the same kind at different 
uh, development processes somebody else might know better but that's like a kind of green and raised up this is like white and raised up and then this is sort of brown so those are at least three different lichens but they're quite a beautiful pattern and then higher up you can see there's moss growing on the tree but it's a healthy ash tree there's a dead branch but ash trees shed a lot of branches and it produced healthy seed heads, loads of seed heads. You're very bold, sheep. Yeah, very bold. Brindle is fighting over. There's a branch here, an old oak branch. It's got some different lichens and funguses on it. Bear's taking it now. As you can see on the branches, these are all lichens. And this is the oak tree. And you can see it has varieties of lichens on it as well. Bear thinks there's a squirrel of it. But here again, you can see all the different lichens and the life that is in this huge, great oak tree. I remember seeing a documentary about the life in just one oak tree, how much it supports. It's so amazing. And it supports life like this. Sheep. Sheep shit around the base of the oak tree, which feeds it. And then there's always squirrels, and there's always dogs that are, think they're squirrels and like to pursue squirrels by climbing tree branches. <laughs> Bear, you are so funny. You are so funny. You are such a tree squirrel climber. <laughs> but you can see even the branch he's on has a variety of mosses and lichens. Are you really gonna go up that high? Can you go up higher? Are you going to try and do that? Ebony is even taking an interest in bear climbing the tree. <laughs> are you going to fall there? You are really your namesake. <laughs> are you sure that's a wise decision? <laughs> I think that's a much better decision. You silly fuck. <laughs> Silly puppers. Here's the rest of the flock. I got some, uh, pulled some ivy off of a tree that I've dragged over here. And I'm hoping Ebony's gonna come while well, the rest of the flock is as well. Hey, little bit, how are you? Hopefully Ebony will then have whatever it is that she needs in her body that has made her crave the ivy so much. Hopefully if I give her, because she's got plenty of food and hay. So hopefully this will stretch of ivy I just pulled off a tree will suit. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Ebony. Look. There we go. So we have plenty of ivy. And hopefully, if I do this every day, I won't have to go and pull her out of a fence. So this is Ebony here. All the other sheep are liking the ivy as well. Sheep love ivy. Marezy dotes, dozy dotes, and little lambsy ivy. I can eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Anyway, there's a lot of vitamins and minerals that are in ivy. So she might be missing more of whatever it is that the ivy has 
that the other sheep are not missing. They all like ivy, but she's been desperate for it. So I will just unload ivy. Is that what you need, sweetie? Yeah, you just need ivy. Hmm? You've stopped eating ivy because everybody else is. But there's a good quantity of ivy for you. And I'll bring it in every day because you're obviously missing something. See, they have a mineral bucket right here. So all the other sheep are fine. And here they all munching ivy. You're bold, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, sweetie pie. Nope, gonna go away now. <laughs>